Hey guys, Tim here with The Long Hair Gardener, and today I'm doing another neighborhood garden tour. This time I'm walking up and down um, mostly Spruce and Pine Streets on um, the west side of Center City, Philadelphia. So take a little walk with me and hopefully we can find some beautiful plants. I suspect there are a lot of fall planters out right now. So let's see what we can find. All right, let's get started right here. I love these little ornamental peppers. And it looks like there are some orange coxcombs and a couple different kinds of mums. Not quite ready to balloon yet. Get in there. There's also a bee down in here. He looks pretty big. Um, let's take a look over here. This street has tons of beautiful plants. I think everybody has gotten their fall window display out. Always been a fan of coxcombs. They're so pretty and interesting. They're a little brainy looking, um, but I guess that fits in with the approaching Halloween season. Got some ornamental, either cabbage or kale, I'm not sure which one that is. Um, some pansies, some pucara, some beautiful rutabecchia, and there's also a grass up top here. Well, let's just mosey on across the street here, because this house on the corner is loaded. Well, stop briefly here and take a look at this hibiscus but this house right up here has a crazy amount of plants so let's just take a look real quick of course of course we have some sweet potato vines and some mums it is the mum season now. Check out these berries. Not sure what's going on there, but they're really nice. Some New Guinea impatient back here. Unfortunately, we are getting in the sun again. It seems to be a problem I'm always having. All right, there's another hibiscus. And then right around the corner here, there are tons, tons of plants, some marigolds, there's some Gerber daisies down here. This stuff is looking really good. Just going to keep on walking. Some coleus. And a lot, oh, there's a, a fern up here. a lot going on so I just wanted to do a little quick walk by here I'm not gonna go through and name every single plant just kind of showing you what's what's going on out here all right let's um, see what else we can find I hope you can see this or at least make out some of the flowers but this trumpet vine is going all the way up this tree all the way to the top it's really nice not sure that it's particularly good for the for the tree that's growing on but definitely a beauty all right not 100 percent sure what we're looking at here but i did want to stop real quick and take a look at how nice these are they almost if i can get a close enough view here it looks like they have a flower within a flower like the center has like a pale yellow really nice plant all right it looks like this planter has been freshly put together got some cone flower up top here looks like there's a common theme when it comes to the fall fall planters around here got the ornamental peppers the hookahs 
the ornamental kale, some mums, polius, um, echinacea or coneflower up here, and then some kind of grass. Let's keep on walking here and see what else we can find. Okay, they're not plants, but I couldn't resist looking at these two in the window. <laughs> they look very young, and this might, be, this might be mom over here. She looks less excited to see me. But anyway, let's keep on walking around and see what else we can find. The angle is a little hard to see what's going on here, but I did want to show you these grasses that are falling out of these planters. I believe these are Prince Tut um, cypress grasses and they are really fun. They kind of give almost like a pine tree effect dangling out over the edge of these planters. Alright, here is a beautiful little front yard or front I don't know what you want to call it, but a little garden out front of this person's house um, with some beautiful elephant ears, some coleus. Anybody knows what this grass is, I would love to know. I see it everywhere and I think it's a beautiful color. Um, of course, some purple queen, purple heart. Um, Looks like there's a vermilionaire and also a begonia tucked in here. But a really nice display of plants. Alright, found another fall planter here. So I believe this is the kale and the cabbage. Um, has like a, a little cabbage in the center. I'm having some difficulty identifying which one is which, but I think that's the difference. It's a really nice color of comb flower. We'll just keep moving on here. There's another planter. It looks very similar, although I'm not sure what this is. this house. It almost looks like a type of marigold, but I'm not sure. Alrighty, let's see what else we can find. Alright, this restaurant right here has freshly planted up some window boxes. Very sunny and yellow looking. These rutabekias are really nice. I'm also a fan of these ornamental peppers that they have tucked in here. Some more coxcomb. It's a really nice window display. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've already been on this block before and looked at some of these window, window um, planners but I did want to point out even if I have been here before how nice these begonias look um, especially so late in the season they're still hanging on looks like we have some summer um, window boxes that are still hanging on very nicely. Just going to do a little quick scan and then we're just going to keep on walking here. Got some beautiful planters right here. Looks like they were freshly watered. And a couple more. I think we've already seen these before in a past video, but why not take another look since they're doing so nice. 
all right guys that pretty much wraps it up for today thank you for joining me as i walk around and do another philadelphia garden tour i hope you're enjoying these if you are please click like and subscribe um, that lets me know that you are liking these and i will see you on the next garden tour so have a great day